Today we're doing a studio photo shoot with Kelsey. We're going to be getting some portrait headshots and we're going to be doing some projector photo shoots as well. Hi, I'm Kelsey, I'm 22 and I've been modelling for about a year and a half now. My hobbies include travelling and skydiving. Skydiving, eh? Yeah, no, I've been obsessed with flying for my entire life. So Kelsey's just over in front of the brick backdrop right now. I've got some PNG photos just on my laptop and that's connected to a projector. So I got one that says f off. Got a couple of Chinese slogans as well. Might look cool. This means f off in Chinese, so. Very classy, I love it. Very. Now stay tuned for the end of this video because I'll be explaining exactly how I created these projective photos from start to finish. Cool, and I should yeah, do a slow movement down like that. I'll explain where I got the images from, the projector I'm using, and even how I created my own PNG images to use. I can line it up fine, I just need to figure out how I can multitask. You can see I used a flash with the blue backlight to illuminate her from behind. Flick your hair back with your left hand. And then I used my main flash, which is my AD400, with a softbox on it to illuminate her from the front. Put it just in front of one of your eyes as well. Might do that one in front of this backdrop. So we'll just change now. And I should do a hair flick with your right hand. Awesome. In front on, perfect. So at this stage I decided that all of the projector photos were finished, so we ended up getting some studio headshots as well. Alright, do you prefer shots with your hair down or hair up? Either or I'm more like happy either way. I mostly want to look at it in my own hands, so I would prefer a couple up if we could. I've just got a backlight, so I've just got to line it up with your hair. Take two steps out from the backdrop. Just look straight at the light for me. You might go on the side of your hip. So just like, we'll go front on like this. Yep. To put your legs just together like this and take a small step this direction. Perfect. Yep, go for it. Here is, we'll get your hair down now. Get some photos with that. Left hand on the edge of your hip. So you get on the back, there we go. Put your hair in front of your other shoulder now. So just in front of your right and behind your left. And you should just stroke your right hand through your hair on the right side and just relax your left hand. So I'll get you, we might start with just one side in front of one shoulder. So we'll put that behind, yep. And I get you, just relax your hands by your sides. Perfect. So you may be wondering how I actually created these photos. 
So basically I purchased this $60 pocket projector on eBay and it turned out to be more than sufficient for the photo shoot. The projector is connected to a PowerPoint and it's also connected to my laptop through a HDMI cable. And what I did was I found a bunch of PNG which are transparent images on Google and I downloaded them onto my laptop. Then I opened them in preview on my MacBook and made sure it was in full screen so that it removed all of the background. I also created my own PNG images with some text in Photoshop. So what I did was I typed in some colored text in a new Photoshop document. I duplicated the text and then I went file, export, export as a PNG. I did a couple of different color variations. I did red and I did blue. I also found the digital code from the matrix on Google and I decided to use that in one of the photos and that turned out to be my favorite image. When I was doing this photo shoot, I made sure to block out any ambient light that was coming into the studio so that I could completely control the lighting situation. This also helps if you don't have a very powerful projector as well. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you stay tuned for more photography content and I'll see you guys in the next video.